Tuesday Science Experiment Eoli AT. We're gonna do a science experiment because it's Tuesday and that's what I like to do on Tuesdays. My eyes hurt, I need new contacts so bad, but they haven't come in the mail yet. Why not? This is something that I've done way back in the day, back in elementary school, but I say, hey, everybody likes the science experiments, so I might as well bring it on back to, to this time town. This elementary, I was, did you guys see the Saturday Night Live with Justin Timberlake? Bring it on back to Homelessville, Liquor Town, whatever he sings. What did he sing this time? Liquor Town, right? That was a completely wrong side note, so here we go. Back to, I've got two cans here. This one's Coke Zero, it doesn't matter what kind of, the, I'm gonna put like a tablespoon of water in each. Tablespoon of water goes in each. I think there's more than a tablespoon in there, but we're gonna turn it on to make them boil here. And this should take a little bit of time, but hey, it's gonna be fun to watch it. While we're waiting on that, ooh, you hear it? It's starting to make noise. While we're waiting on that, I've got this, uh, this, this tray of water in the freezer cooling down so that we can have a nice cold drink of water for them to go into. You guys probably already know what I'm doing, don't you? Now I threw a, a block of, of ice in there to keep it cold. I don't it, no real purpose behind it. Ooh, you know it's getting excited when the burner turns red. Now you guys, uh, you're gonna need some tongs for this one, so I hope you have tongs. You guys are probably gonna be excited now. While I was freezing that little bit, not freezing, but cooling down that little bit of water, I looked inside the freezer and I found some yeast. So I've got a second science experiment when this one's done. I don't know if it's gonna work because that is, it's a red wine yeast, yeast, red wine yeast, red wine yeast from when we made wine. Were you guys here when we made wine? It wasn't very good wine at all. It was terrible wine as a matter of fact, but we still have some yeast left over and I don't know if I'm supposed to have highly active yeast or active yeast. Uh, we'll see if it works. Starting to make some pretty awesome noises. I don't even know if you guys can see this, but it's like spitting out a little bit oh, behind the black there. Spitting out some, some steam. That's what I need. Here we go. You guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. Bam! Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That was pretty awesome. Number two. Here we go. Here we go. Big a bam! Nothing gonna happen with that one? What the heck? Why did it work so awesome on the first one, but not on the second one? Is the Coke Zero can superior to the inferior? What is that? Like off brand black cherry cola? <laughs> The Publix brand Cherry Coke. Oh, I should probably should have checked to make sure that that was hot before I just went and it. Oh, it is hot. I don't think that the Cherry Coke or the Coke Zero one was, was like boiling on the inside, so maybe I didn't wait long enough. Let's wait a little bit longer. I got it back on the burner. Okay, here we go. Now I definitely see steam coming out of the Coke Zero can, which is where we were at when we did the, the Publix can. Let's give it a try again. Here we go. You guys ready? I hope it works this time. Pick it up, man. Yeah, we're awesome. Let it be known that I have no idea whether this is gonna work or not. Uh, I know it's not gonna explode. So when you guys are commenting down in the com in the comments saying, "Ah, oh, what the heck? Why it didn't work at all? Why'd you even show us that?" Just know now. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It might. You never know. A little bottle with some hydrogen peroxide and some dish soap in it. Hot water, and this is uh, this is yeast. Red wine yeast. But uh, you guys should probably use like highly active yeast if you try it. Pour some of this yeast in here into the hot water. And when all of it, what the heck. Stir it up a little bit. Definitely smells like yeast. It smells like I'm baking bread in here. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Now we take the yeast and we add it to the hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna put the camera down because this is gonna be difficult. Here goes nothing. You guys ready? Let's see what happens. Oh. We that wasn't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Now it's just a mess. Boom! I have a new goal now. My goal is to go out and get some because this is only three percent hydrogen peroxide. The stuff that you get at the what the heck is that? The pharmacy. You can get like ten uh, percent, something like that, hydrogen peroxide from the beauty salon. Heck yeah, or 30%. But if you're a scientist, you can get 60% and really cause some sort of crazy explosion. Maybe we should try to figure out where scientists get their stuff from. Let's do that. Let's do this experiment again with regular yeast, not wine yeast, and some super sweet hydrogen peroxide, and it's gonna explode, and it'll be up on the ceiling, and you guys will be laughing, and it will be awesome. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to see the facts.